Hi and welcome to my video on the Rapid Strike. Um, I really, really like this blaster. It's um, small and, and very powerful. And I really love to play with it with the children in the house or in the garden. But what I don't like about this is the time it takes for the flywheels to get to full spin. So when my son plays with a strong arm or whatever blaster, and comes around the corner, he just shoots me and I have to first um, wait for the flywheels to get to full speed and yeah, then I'm already shot three times. So I will try to um, change that and make the flywheels um, get to full speed more quickly and maybe up the dart speed a little bit but uh, dart speed is not so important for me because the Rapid Psych shoots really fast as it is and the darts hit hard enough for the children so they don't cry when they get hurt in the face or something. So yeah, let's see what I can do. Um, rapid Strike with um, four um, C batteries in the battery tray. So um, 6 volt stock voltage rate of fire test with um, 18 darts in a clip uh, standard 6 volts Seventy three, seventy three, seventy two, and seventy two point five feet per second. Um, Nine point six volt um, RC Aku built into the stock battery tray of the Rapid Strike. Rate of fire test with um, stock motors and 18 darts in a clip. Um, crony test with the um, 9.6 RC Arco in the Rapid Strike. Still on stock motors. So as you could see with the 9.6 volt RC Arco, the dart speed increased a lot, uh, 100 feet per second on the crony or even more because if you hold down the trigger um, the flywheels uh, turn faster than when shooting single darts. But anyway, too much for me. <laughs> and um, rate of fire was out of control. It was so quick I wasn't even able to shoot the single darts anymore, always two or three flew out. And yeah, so uh, not what I wanted to achieve. So I went to the store today and bought uh, three upgrade motors for the two for the flywheels and one for the pusher mechanic. And yeah, I hope with this combination. And uh, I forgot, I bought a Lipo Arco 2. Uh, this is a 3S, so 11.1 volt, um, 2200 milliampere. It fits into the um, st uh, battery compartment of the Rapid Strike as well. And I hope this combination um, will make a blaster that shoots a little faster than stock speed, maybe a little faster than the Elite version shoots, and, but has no crazy rate of fire. And I really, really hope that the flywheels will um, reach maximum velocity quicker than any stock um, rapid strike I have or also with the other Akkus I used. 
because I think that's the, the great downside of this blaster. If you if you always have to wait for two or three seconds uh, that your flywheels are at max speed, then yeah, you can't really play with it. So I will show you how I put the new motors into the rapid strike and then we put it through the chromia again. When opening the blaster you will notice a black wire that connects the two shells. Uh, just use a pair of pliers to pull the little feather out of the battery compartment. Then you can put aside the other side of the shell. Then loosen the screws of the flywheel cage. Then again use uh, pliers to rip off this uh, platine. Um, you don't need it anymore so you can destroy it. Just be careful not to ruin the, the little contacts of the motors if you want to use the motors in future projects or something. There is another platine, you can also destroy this one. The flywheel cage itself is not screwed together, so you can easily open it by, open it by um, pushing in these little knobs. And then you can go ahead and use your pliers again to pull off the flywheels. And the motors can be pushed out easily as well. But that's what you really need. The stock motors are 130 size. Um, unfortunately, I don't know anything about them. I don't know any specs. And I couldn't find something in the internet as well. These are the motors that I'm using. These are motors from slot cars. Um, they are safe up to 14.4 uh, watts, 14.8 uh, sorry. And since they are 130 in size as well, you can just push them into the flywheel cage. And then just uh, push the flywheels on them as well. You can then close the flywheel cage. To connect the motors you need two um, small pieces of wire where you um, get rid of the insul insulation on both ends. Um, when I solder uh, motors, I first put little dots of soldering thing on each contact, little drops, and then I just um, um, hold the wire there and push it on the knob with the soldering iron, and so they stay where they should. Where they should.
See him on the other side. And that's all you need to connect the motors. Now you have to uh, solder the black cable, the one that uh, leads then to the battery department, to the uh, side of the motors that uh, uh, show to the that looked forwards the magazine, the clip, and then you have to solder the white cable to the side of the motors that uh, looks to the barrel. Doesn't matter if you do this on one side of the motors or the other. Then just turn the whole thing around and put it back together. You're now done with the motor replacement for the flywheels and can screw the flywheel cage back in. Pusher motor and gear are in this little box here. The third screw is a little hidden behind the trigger. There are five screws that hold the gearbox together. Then you again have to push little knobs to get it open. That's how the pusher mechanic works. So you can now just cut off the motor. The motor is also 130 sized. Um, I don't know if it's the same, exact same motor as in the flywheels or not. Again, I don't know anything about the specs of these motors. And I couldn't find anything in, on the internet. I use pliers to get this little spiral gear off and uh, yeah I used the same motors again putting on the little spiral was uh, easier than getting it off Like before, I started off with um, making little drops of soldering thin on both contacts. Then it's important not to forget to uh, get the cables through that hole in the in the gearbox. The black cable goes to the stock side, and the orange cable goes to the clip side of the motor. Then just push it back in again and close the box. So that's all for the motor replacement. Just screw back uh, the gearbox and close the blaster and you're done. If you want the motors of the Rapid Strike uh, run at full speed all the time and not uh, increase speed when the trigger is pulled, then you have to uh, desolder this uh, yellow cable here and solder it back on here uh, where the red cable ends. Um, I didn't do it yet because I kind of like the idea, but maybe we'll do it uh, at a later time. So, here's the final uh, final crony test with the Rapid Strike with the three um, upgraded motors and the 3S LiPo. Um, first thing I want to show you 
which makes me really, really happy, is this. The moment I push the ref trigger, the motors are at max speed. And that's exactly what I wanted. I think this it makes this blaster much more cooler and much more playable. And that speeds are also okay. I was showing. with how this came out most of all that the flywheels uh, reach the maximum velocity so quickly and another cool thing I have to show you is the uh, rate of fire that's almost back to normal again and I can shoot single darts now every time again. And yeah, I'm really happy. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.